is the market slowing or glowing hi i'm tom daves with exp realty and i get asked that question all the time a lot of people think it's either one or the other but the true answer to that question is yes it's both it is glowing and it is slowing so we've had just a crazy auction like high octane market since the beginning of the year there were bidding you there were bidding wars we were getting you know 20 30 offers on a property they were selling sometimes between 20 and 200 thousand dollars over list price well now we are finally starting to get some normalcy so instead of getting 20 or 30 offers we're getting two or three offers and it's beginning to look a little bit more like the normal seasonal market uh, this time of year, which is actually a sight for sore eyes. So let's take a look at the stats. Now this is in Sacramento, Placer, and El Dorado County. On this first chart, you're gonna see the inventory and the pendings, which is really the leading measures. These are the lead measures of the market. So you'll see the active homes for sale right now is 2,146 homes compared to 1,000 homes for sale back in January. And last month, there were 2,583 new pending escrows compared to 1,620 in December. So what's the reason for this higher inventory? Well, there's two reasons. Number one is called supply, and number two is called demand. The supply is a little bit higher because more people are putting their home on the market because they want to take advantage of the home prices that have increased. And also, there's a lot of sellers that do want to move out of state. And then the demand, there's slightly less demand over the last few months quite frankly, just because people have been on vacation, they've been traveling before school starts. On this next graph, you'll see the price per square foot. You can see they've climbed up to $329 per square foot compared to earlier this year, about a year ago, at $254 per square foot. Now, everyone asks, well, are home values still going up? The answer is yes home values are still going up. Now, they're not going up at the 20 to 35% rate that we've had since the beginning of the year, but they have stabilized at a sustainable 4 to 5%, and the economists are saying that's what they will continue to rise over the, over the course of the last year. This next diagram shows the average list price to closing ratio. And you can see on average, they're selling at 102% of the list price compared to the high of 104%. And you'll see the average days on market is 16 days now on the market compared to 13 days last month. So you can see that things are taking just a little bit longer to sell. Uh, we'll keep our eye on this to see if there's a trend. And now on this last chart, this shows the month's worth of inventory, which is currently 0.9 months worth of inventory compared to the low of 0.5 months worth of inventory back in March. And bear in mind, a seller's market is anything from zero to three months worth of inventory. Neutral is four and five months worth of inventory. And a buyer's market is anything over five months worth of inventory. So what does this mean if you're a buyer? Well, if you're a buyer, there's more options, there's more choices, and you won't have to be competing against 20 and 30 offers and paying 20 to sometimes $200,000 over the list price and over the appraisal. And with the low interest rates, now is a great time to buy. What does this mean if you're a seller? Well, it's still a seller's market. Values are still going up. No one knows how long that this will last. There is still buyer demand with the low interest rates and the kids back in school. 
And if your home is priced right, you'll still get two to three to four offers on it. And you'll still be able to get it sold in a short amount of time. And if you're moving out of California, give us a call because we have a 12-step roadmap to your next destination. And we recently helped a couple from Orangevale, Jim and Susan. They wanted to sell their home to move to South Carolina to be with their kids and grandkids. So we were able to put their home on the market. We got multiple offers, $75,000 over the list price. And we were able to negotiate a two month free rent back. And we sold the property as is. Now they've happily moved to South Carolina with their kids and their grandkids. So yes, the market is still glowing. And, but yes, it is slightly slowing. So I hope that answers your questions. If you have any other questions, give us a call at 855-TOM-DAVES or go to tomdaves.com. Thanks and have a good day. Thank you.